along, today I'm going to be swatching the 2016 Summer Collection from ILMP. We're going to start with Interstellar, this beautiful dark blue hollow. As you can see, this goes on very sheer at first. It's not going to be opaque in one coat, probably not in two. It does go on extremely smooth though. If you look here though, I start to have a problem because I figured I needed more polish on the brush than I had. And I made a bit of a mess and I got it on my cuticles. With the first coat on all of my nails, you can see it has the blue color in the polish. There's blue in the glitter and the glitter is definitely hollow. When we go on to the second coat here, you can see that it's getting darker. If you use two really thick coats, this might cover in two coats, but I definitely recommend just using three thin coats to get the best effect. On this third coat, you can see how dark it gets. It's absolutely gorgeous. I'm shooting this under natural sunlight. Well, not actual natural sunlight. I'm using natural sunlight bulbs. The next is storytelling. This is a purple hollow. This one goes just as smoothly as Interstellar does. They are both very good during application, but once again, see, I got a big blob. That was my fault. Uh, storytelling at first kind of looks blue. It looks like it's going to be really similar to Interstellar, but at the end of the day, it's not. It's definitely a dark purple. And it's absolutely gorgeous on the third coat. Here you can see it's very sheer. As we go on to the second coat, you can see it's getting more of that color. Once again, if you put it on really thickly, you could probably go with just two coats. But I definitely recommend the, th three, th the three thin coats. I had to do a little clean up there. As we get to the third coat, you can see that definite purple coming out. It starts to look less blue and you can actually see the deep purple color. It's another gorgeous hollow though. Next is Peachy Queen. When I first got this, I called it Peachy Clean for about four days because I misread the label at first, but it's actually called Peachy Queen. This is a really pretty, I'd call it a neutral color. It is a definite peach beige kind of color. It goes on extremely sheer though, as you're going to see. You can definitely see that with the first coat. Even with three coats, this is not going to completely cover. If you're going to use this, I definitely recommend a thin white base coat. It doesn't have to be a perfect white base coat, just something to give the nails a uniform color. You could definitely use this as a top coat over another neutral color, maybe even a pink, and it would look amazing. I'm not actually big on neutrals, but I really liked this one upon trying it. I didn't think I was going to. This color, as well as Manor House and Storytelling are going to be three of the hollows given away when I hit 100 subscribers. I'll be giving three away from this collection as well as one of my favorites, Missed Calls, which I have swatched in another video you can find. I will link it in the comments. See, it's gorgeous, but you can still see those nail tips. If the nail tips drive you nuts, Peachy Queen and the next one we're swatching, Manor House, definitely need that white base coat. In darker light, you're not going to be able to tell that you can see the tips of your nails through them, but if you're in the sun, you're in a brightly lit room, fluorescent overhead lights, oh, there's a cat hair. Yep, that was cat hair. Cats happen. If you, As I was saying though, if you're somewhere with overhead lights, anything bright, you're definitely going to see your nail tips and if it drives you crazy like it drives me crazy, you're going to absolutely just get annoyed and end up taking it off. So if that drives you nuts, definitely apply a base coat. As you get into the second coat here of Manor House, it looks a little gray. It does, but 
when the third coat goes on, you can see that it's definitely a lavender color. In the bottle, it looks just lavender. If you put it out in the sunlight, it shifts between lavender and gray. There you go, those nail tips again. Like I said, if they drive you nuts, base coat. The next one we're going to do is my favorite of the bunch. It's called Private Cabana, and I call this a chunky hollow because the glitter in it is slightly bigger than in the others. Every other color in this collection has that really fine, ultra fine hollow glitter that is smooth. Private Cabana has larger chunks of silver and the larger hollow glitter in it, which I love. And that's kind of a big reason why it's my favorite here. You can see that in just two coats, it's gone completely opaque. I'm still gonna swatch three coats here just to keep it uniform, but it's just gorgeous. The way it shines and the different prisms of color you can see in it are just amazing and I love it. It reminds me of, you know, being on the beach, seeing that perfect blue sky above the ocean. I don't think there's anything quite like that view. And if I can get that on my nails, then I am so happy, beyond happy. Ah, I, I had to do that. It's my favorite. I had to give it a nice sound effect. The last one is called That Other Girl, which sounds really scandalous when all the rest of them have had these nice fun names and then we're talking about another girl. This one is kind of, I'd call it a rose gold with more of a pink hue to it. As you can see here, when you're putting on it in the first coat, it goes on smooth like all the others. And at this point, I stopped blobbing on my brush because I stopped being an idiot. But in the first coat, it does. It looks really sheer. But you can definitely see that color in it, that kind of rose gold with the pink undertone. In the second coat, more of the pink's coming out. This actually looks like something if we had hollow sunsets, which I truly believe we should make a thing. Let's, you know, get on that. Make the planet hollow. If we had hollow sunsets, this would definitely be like the main color. It's absolutely beautiful. Here on the last coat, you can see it covers completely. And it just has such a prism of colors when the light hits it. You can see that on that middle finger. It is gorgeous. Overall, I love the whole collection. Like I said, my favorite is Private Cabana. And I recommend buying it. Thanks for watching. If you liked it, hit the subscribe button so I can get to that giveaway.